or God anymore. Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might... Sigil arrows won't work on this. Now where have they got the third one hidden away? Possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous. <laughs> His mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Yotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was as tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, say. Nothing wrong. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel back. That's a start. And an angry. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your... <sighs> when we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon. And to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the fort. Folky! Long as you know that ain't the way to the fort. Coming here, busting old tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Lucid enough, he's time to steal my kitchen, though. 
Get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering? Snake sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Coming back down till we deal with that nest up there. Come on, let's try to get close. <laughs> Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? The dwarves of a camp were twice as alarmed to see law than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this plane and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Whoa! Turn it. Copy that. Turn it again. Aye, aye. <laughs> ah, from 
missing. Once more. Again. <clears throat> hey, I got the crank cover. You do the other stuff. the crank cover. You do the other stuff. Well, if the angle you needed to find was down there, you'd have found it all. I think they've seen us. Get Teddy Wanker, you hope! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from that clever. Bam point. Yeah. Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? 
Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of the thing. Hang on. I smell trouble. creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noka. But Sindri had never had it, said a two-one-two. It's a day, finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> my bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Everything in this dang city, my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky, silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. <clears throat> this lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster, huh? Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tale. He's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. A damn fine woman she was. Apart from the taste in men, of course. 
Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom dropped. Time goes by and there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort for when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a the moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand.
doubt me, Victor. Almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no, I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. You know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! First weapon a Spartan learns. What well, hell? Ain't this just like old times here? I took more for boarding lane myself. See that weak spot? Jam one in. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Now listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about. Stay hot, block. 
We all die sometimes. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Starting to recognize when there's a weak spot? Setting off a spear at anything like that's a sure way to alter your circumstances on the right quick. <laughs> the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. That's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. <laughs> them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. scare you or anything. You did not. Right. Uh, you can bring that back to Ratatoskr whenever you're ready.
Ah, that's blocked. favorite ask of the boat but you can call us square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed oh very well these ugly birds maybe those grim will take him down Is a good spear. Damn straight it is. Reckon I see how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working. Is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working for you. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Drop's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Uh, 
Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. <laughs> He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. Can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours is everything I expected. So clever, kind. You sure he's yours? A kid. You really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free. From all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that? Kratos, what do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself, beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing! Let's see what Brock made you! Shield strike! Now! So that's the weapon? A drop near spear? The drop near spear. Well, any given number of drop near spears, I suppose. <sighs> Come on, I found a gate. We just need to take the train down. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along. you remember we can't get home this way we'll need to take the train down
Hmm. So this drop near Spear. You're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit... Wait. Be ready for combat. Off the field of Kala. For the king! Steady your guard! Fall this 
Favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point? Namir, you're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the old resistance. Yield, solidarity, all that. Or it used to be anyway, till the Aesir buried it under that big gaudy dwarf statue in the bay. Might do the dwarves some good to see it again. You're not worried that might draw the Ain Haryar's attention? The old father nearly slit my throat just to get to you. I might be past giving a shit what he thinks. Just find me at the bar when you've got it. You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course.
Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. Come ring the child. Wrong. At your service. What Here's would you suggest? What I <laughs> this one has a strong personality. Good thing I've got experience with those. Seems we met another of your detachable emotional apparitions. Bit too twitchy to tell us his name, though. Ah, you must mean anxiety. Oh, no. Why are you talking about me? What did I do? Oh, you should have heard the shit they were talking. Sadly. What? Oh, dear, oh, dear. There was no such talk. Shame on you, bitter. Are you sure? Yes, anxious. No opprobrium to be found in this discourse. I was merely making your acquaintance with our adventuring friends here. Ah, people! Well, there it is. Carry on, my friend. There he is! Hey! Come show off the spear. See what we got. Now do the thing! Oh, look at that! She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. I need to think. I am... tired. So, you're sure nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Kratos. You all right? Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. My father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild ones. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe. And serene here. Game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Someone. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Safe, eh? Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. It is far better off knowing as little as possible. <laughs> to think the mighty god of war, frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? I'm um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> did it work? Not yet. So, what you focusing on anyway? Controlling my emotions. Heimdall keeps trying to make me lose my cool. Ugh! I can't give in to it. Three. Okay, cool. Training without me? <laughs> Is that a, that a good idea? Training? I mean, I, I think it's a great idea, but uh, won't your mom be mad if she finds out? Good point. But did you consider? Oh, no, <laughs> it didn't. That didn't hurt, also. Mm -hmm. Anyways, grandfather wants to see you. Oh, grandfather. Right, okay. Uh, here, then take this. And, uh, send my regards to Sif, Lady Sif, and uh, Atreus, see you later, Throod, bye, Throod. <laughs> Midgardian boys are so weird. Weird can be good. This is the two of you, I swear. What's in the jar? Milk curd, mom's favorite. It's his way of helping. Grandfather's in his study. Catch up later? complicated than you think. You don't need to know why things are done. You thought I'm old enough. This isn't about your age. Then what is it about? Because by this point, Magni and Modi were set on the path that led to their death. I don't understand. You never try to. Then that boy, no less. It's not about him. I just, this is my dream. Haven't you ever? You're not some farmhand. We are Aesir. We have duties, not dreams. And you need to start acting like it. Sometimes I hate you. The giant disaster himself. Seriously, what's your problem? My problem is you. Was that not clear? You come in here talking big like you have us all figured out. But all I see is a scared little kid putting on a front. Out of his depth. Out on a limb. And real, real far from home. Oh, am I wrong? <laughs> hmm. Out of here. 
here. Maybe Odin's down in this library. I just don't get it. The mask. Bringing the giant that killed my sons here. Why? <laughs> I can explain it to you, but I can't understand it for you. Stop letting your wife think for you. She's clouding whatever's left of your brain. This isn't about her. No, it's about your limitations. Accept them and move on. Now go smash something, will you? Honestly, I like you better as a drunk. Okay, come here. I finally figured it out. This is where you killed Amir, isn't it? The first giant. Tell me, can you murder a landslide, smother a storm? He was more a force of nature, a vessel of power. I was young, foolish, saw an opportunity to create something more. I know you think it's cruel, but I did what I had to, to protect my own. Why build your house here? What's in there? I'm gonna trust shh, you. Shh. I'm trying to tell you. In the wake of Amir's death, I saw something, the rift. Possibly the birthplace of reality. I looked inside, and something was there looking back at me. It whispered to me things I couldn't possibly comprehend, but I knew they were true. When it blinded me, I thought it was over, that I'd never see inside again. And then I found this. And I knew that it would finally let me see the answers. You see, son? I don't know where I go when I go. There's no Valhalla for me. Ragnarok cannot be the end. I need to know there's something more than this. I need to know what happens to me. And that's the truth, I swear, on my last good eye. That's the truth. The writing on here it talks about a cold breath. Breath, wind. It's gotta be Helheim. Helheim, you say? I'll take it. And I know just the person to accompany you. I'm trusting you two can handle this responsibility. You can count on us. Don't mess this up for me. Oh, I uh, forgot to mention. Heimdall will be joining you. What a privilege. For all of us. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up. You don't want to walk into the blistering cold of Helheim without this. Every loud. Should keep you nice and toasty. You'll love them. Huh? The mirror said even Odin couldn't survive the cold in hell. Huh? You believe everything that old goat says? Throod, too bad your first time outside Asgard has to be to hell. Huh? Nah, we're gonna make the most of this. 